Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 2.21 from Sadiku book. So the question is find Vx in the circuit of figure 2.85. So Vx is this voltage across this 5 ohm resistor. So maybe I want to use KVL here at this loop. So let's just name this loop as loop I1. Okay, but I want to note that Vx is actually I1 multiplied by the resistance here. So Vx is just 5I1 or I1 will be Vx divided by 5. So this will be very important properties later. Let's just save it as equation number one. Okay, now let's do KVL at this loop. So we'll have KVL at loop I1. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. So now let's start from this 15 volt voltage source. And the current is flowing from negative to positive, And I will have minus 15 and then plus. I1. The only current that passed through this I1 resistor is I1. So I will have 1 multiplied by I1. And then this is a voltage source and the current is flowing from positive to negative and the value will be 2Vx. Because the current is flowing from positive to negative, the sign will be positive and the value is 2Vx. And now finally for this resistor here, we will have plus 5I1, 5I1, and for this resistor here, I will have 2I1 plus 2I1. All of that will equal to zero. But now let's do some simplification. Let's group I1 together. So I'll have 1 plus 5, that will be 6. 6 plus 2, that should be 8. So I'll have 8I1 plus 2Vx, 2Vx, and let's move this minus 15 to the right hand side. So I'll have 15 there. Okay. Now remember that I1 here, I1 is equal to Vx divided by 5. Okay, maybe let's plug that in. So we will have 8. Okay, let's do the orange. 8 multiplied by Vx divided by 5 and then plus 2Vx and that will equal to 15. Okay, let's challenge myself not to use calculator to make the video longer maybe. So we will have 8Vx divided by 5 and then plus Maybe that is 10 Vx divided by 5. Because 10 divided by 5 it will be 2. So I'll have 15 here. And that will make this 18 Vx divided by 5 is equal to 15. Multiply both sides by 5. I will have 18 Vx is equal to 75. And so we will have Vx. Vx will be 75 divided by 18. But now I I gave up that I can get my calculator. 75 divided by 18. That will be 4.17. 4.167. And the unit here will be 4. Let's save this and concludes that this is the result of the problem. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. Let me know if I did and see you in the next video. Bye bye.